Daily Readings and the Gospel, September 13th, 2017. Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 to 11. Since you have been raised up to be with Christ, you must look for the things that are above where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on things above, not on the things that are on the earth. Because you have died, and now the life you have is hidden with Christ in God. But when Christ is revealed, and He is your life, you too will be revealed with Him in glory. That is why you must kill everything in you that is earthly, sexual vice, impurity, uncontrolled passion, evil desires, and especially greed which is the same thing as worshipping a false god. It is precisely these things which draw God's retribution upon those who resist. And these things make up your way of life when you were living among such people. But now you also must give up all these things, human anger, hot temper, malice, abusive language and dirty talk, and do not lie to each other. You have stripped off your old behavior with your old self, and you have put on a new self which will progress towards true knowledge, the more it is renewed in the image of its creator. And in that image there is no room for distinction between Greek and Jew, between the circumcised and uncircumcised, or between barbarian and Scythian, slave and free. There is only Christ. He is everything, and He is everything. Response to Psalm Day after day I shall bless you. I shall praise your name forever and ever. Great is Yahweh, and worthy of all praise. His greatness beyond all reckoning. All your creatures shall thank you, Yahweh, and your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingship and tell of your might, making known your mighty deeds to the children of Adam, the glory and majesty of your kingship. Your kingship is a kingship forever. Your reign lasts from age to age. Yahweh is trustworthy in all his words and upright in all his deeds. Gospel, Luke chapter 6, verses 20 26. Then fixing his eyes on his disciples, he said, How blessed are you who are poor! The kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are hungry now. You shall have your fill. Blessed are you who are weeping now. You shall laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, drive you out, abuse you, denounce your name as criminal, on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice when that day comes and dance for joy. Look, your reward will be great in heaven. This was the way the ancestors treated the prophets. But alas, for you who are rich, you are having your consolation now. Alas, for you who have plenty to eat now, you shall go hungry. Alas for you who are laughing now, you shall mourn and weep. Alas for you when everyone speaks well of you. This was the way the ancestors treated the false prophets. This is the Gospel of the Lord.